Hello friend, welcome to our channel Mechanical Design Adda. In this video, we are going to talk about what is bend allowance and bend deduction in the sheet metal and why it is important and how to calculate it. So let's start the video. When we bend the sheet metal, the material is compressed inside, inside and uh, the tension is outside or stretching outside. Okay. So as a result, the length of the material changes. Okay. And this change in the length is known as bend allowance or bend deduction. So you can see here in the picture, the inside there is a compress, uh, uh, compress is there because of that bending and uh, outside portion is in the tension or you can say stretch. So it's very important to determine the amount of material required for the bend. So two important factor that determines this uh, are bend allowance and the bend deduction. Bend allowance is the length of material required for the bend while bend deduction is the amount of material that will deduct it from the total flat length of the sheet metal to achieve the desired bend. Okay. So in bend allowance uh, means we need a, a additional uh, material. Okay. But in the uh, bend deduction somewhat uh, material we need to uh, reduce from the flat length. Okay. So now the question here is why bend allowance and bend deduction is important. Okay. Uh, so to calculate the exact length of the uh, that sheet. So for that purpose, we need the bend allowance and the bend deduction so that we can produce the precise and accurate sheet metal part and the incorrect calculation of bend allowance and bend deduction uh, can result in the incorrect bend and which can lead to the waste of material time and the money. So the bend allowance and bend deduction is very important factor in the sheet metal. Now let's see how to calculate the bend allowance and the bend deduction. So to calculate the bend allowance, uh, we have the formula, the bend allowance equal to uh, pi divided by 180 into theta and R plus KT. Okay. Okay. So here the theta is the bend angle. R is the inside radius. Uh, and T is the material thickness and K is the K factor. Okay. So take an example here. If you have a bend angle of 90 degree uh, in your sheet metal and a material thickness is 1 mm and the in inside radius is 3 mm and the K factor here is 0.5 mm. So you can put the bend, uh, uh, you can put the this value in the bend allowance formula and here you will get the 6.5 28 uh, mm bend allowance and for a bend deduction you can use this formula bend deduction equal to 0 0.017453 into theta into r in bra uh, bracket complete plus 0 0.0078 into t into k okay so here also theta is the bend angle in degree and r is the inside bend radius and t is the material thickness uh, and k is the k factor okay so you can take here example if you have the bend angle of 90 degree in sheet metal and the material thickness is 1 mm and the inside bend, ra bend radius is 3 mm and k factor is as usual 0 0.5 so uh, you can put this value in the bend deduction and uh, you will get the answer 1.97 mm as a bend deduction bend allowance and bend deductions are essential factor in the sheet metal and uh, they can help in the determining the length of material uh, required for the bend and the amount of material that will be deducted from the total flat length of the sheet metal to achieve the desired bend okay and the accurate calculation of this factor is uh, uh, very important for producing the precise sheet metal part I hope this video has provided you the better understanding uh, regarding the bend allowance and the bend deduction and how to calculate the bend allowance and bend deduction. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can share with your friend 
and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching once again see you in the next video